G'day viewers, how you going? G'day viewers, how you doing? We've been perusing the news and there's an interesting story today in Australia. I've actually been waiting for this to resolve before making much of a comment on it. It's been, it been brewing for a little while. Yeah, it involves our Prime Minister, his daughter, uh, a private educational institution and an action that some people had caused to question. Yeah. yeah. Essentially, the Prime Minister's daughter, while he was still leader of the opposition, mm. was awarded a $60,000 scholarship. scholarship. And I do scholarship because this place doesn't offer scholarships. Uh, now, some people mean would take that to mean uh, Tony Abbott was given a gift to one of his dependents, which he would be required to report he had received. And he never reported this. Now, he says that's because it wasn't a gift. No gift. No gift. It was on merit. On merit. Now, that's despite the fact that this scholarship wasn't advertised no one else was able to go for it, and there was no criteria for why the Prime Minister's daughter received this scholarship. And in fact, this institution does not hand out any hmm. scholarships. In their entire such. history, they've given out one other scholarship. Hmm. And just a bit of icing on the cake, she got a job when she finished her degree, let's call it, hmm. uh, at the Institute. Uh, and an investigation revealed she's the only staff member who doesn't have a formal job description. Oh, I've got a job like that. Yes. I've got a job like that. Now, on the surface, oh, um, no, how don't. do we know about this? Because senior staff at this institute thought it was a bad thing. Mm. And they went to the media and the media said, we're not publishing anything without evidence. Now, the evidence was actually confidential files yeah, right. and what appears to have happened is senior staff told very very junior staff member uh, that if she uh, logged in with someone else's credentials she could get this information and release it to the media and then she did that she and did she indeed quit do that the day yep. after apparently she had nothing to lose or thought so because then a criminal proceeding got launched against her yeah it's been taking a little while now yeah mm. and that's dragged on and it's just been resolved where she admitted to the charges so you know proven uh but the judge recorded no conviction did put her on a good behavior bond yep uh the prosecution and you know the both the formal prosecution and the informal prosecution known as the murdoch media the murdoch media yes. had been pushing very hard that she should be punished yeah punished she should get convicted because oh this was a terrible thing that shocking you told things see because shocking she should be put down in the bottom of that jail where they have the little pit where the screws come over and piss on you mm. And uh, this from the Murdoch media, who gleefully uh, published the stolen emails of climate scientists, called that free speech. That's free speech. And that was actually, yeah, no one's ever been caught for that. That was definite criminal theft of data, like broken in from the outside, and uh, uh, which actually turned out to be nothing. All those emails, uh, independent inquiries showed that that showed nothing. But this one that showed beyond a doubt the Prime Minister's daughter uh, got a scholarship worth $60,000 that he didn't declare. That he did not declare. Mm. So that then the institution went on later on to benefit to the tune of millions of dollars because of policies that the then Prime Minister yes. put in. We're not, we're not saying. Well, look, see, although when he was opposition leader, his daughter got a $60,000 scholarship mm. from an institute that will ultimately benefit to the tune probably millions of dollars mm. from policies implemented when he became Prime Minister. Mm. We're not saying that was a bribe. No. Okay? We're not saying Tony Abbott's no. corrupt. No, no. We're not saying the institute in question offered a bribe full knowing that the person they were giving it to would be in a position to introduce policies that would benefit them. We're not originally. saying that. We're not saying We're that. not saying We're not saying that the Murdoch media are a bunch of hypocritical slime bags who call this a horrible crime, but the actual criminal action against uh, climate scientists was free speech. We're not saying they're hot. Actually, hmm? actually yeah. we, we are. Same. Actually, that's we fair. Are, we are saying that, that. That is just yeah. straight up hypocrisy. That is hypocrisy, yeah. That is straight up hypocrisy. There's yeah. no, and see, that's not a legal term. That's just a, an observation mm. that they're hypocrites. Mm. But, you know, on the plus side, uh, it's been shown that this is a bad thing. If you tell the public mm. that uh, the opposition leader who became prime minister 
got a $60,000 benefit to his kids that he never declared, mm, 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 we mm. now know that's a bad thing to do because she faced a criminal prosecution, but there's no investigation into whether Tony Abbott is guilty of any sort of offence for not declaring the $60,000 scholarship. I think that's a win all round. All round win there. All round win there. Mm. So basically, if you're an influential politician... Stay in your place. Mm. Stay in your place. If you're a nobody who has damning information against an influential politician... Stay in your place. Stay in your place.